Hello everyone. It's lovely to be doing the Christchurch Shirley Woods Daily Reflections for today. My name is Valerie Shadende. I am going to be reflecting on Numbers chapter 6 verses 24 to 26, also known as the priestly blessing given to Aaron and his sons via Moses. The Bible says, The Lord spoke to Moses saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons, saying, this is the way you shall bless the children of Israel. Say to them, the Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. When most of the world went into lockdown around March last year, it was impossible to really know what laid ahead. Naturally, there was an air of uncertainty amidst the sadness of loss or illness for so many. During this time, against the backdrop of unprecedented global anxiety in the wake of the pandemic, one of my all-time favorite gospel singers, Carrie Joan, released her hit song, The Blessing. The lyrics of the song is based on this particular Bible passage. Apart from the lovely rhythmic melody of the song, I love it because it allows me to truly reflect on each of the verses and what it means to me. I would like to share how I break that down. The first line, the Lord bless and keep you, is declaring God's divine favour and protection on whomever is being blessed. I try to say this as a prayer over my children every morning. And in saying this, I am asking for God's divine favour and protection over them, no matter what challenges their day brings. The same applies to any one of us who declares this. We are praying for God's divine favour and protection. The next line, the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Or as the message puts it, God smile on you and gift you. In my mind, I visualize it like this. Imagine a parent copying the face of their child in their palms and smiling down lovingly upon them. That simple act speaks love to a child. That is the picture that comes to my mind. God holding my face in his palms and smiling down lovingly on me. And of course, because he's a gracious God, he readily gives us with his love and many good things our hearts desire. No different from how we as parents delight in giving our children the things that make them happy. I don't know about you, but the visuals of God copying my face and smiling lovingly on me fills me with delight and puts an oomph in my step. The last line of this blessing says, the Lord turn his face towards you, or the Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. Basically, I see this as a reference to getting undivided attention from God and receiving his peace, knowing that no matter what it feels like or what is going on around you, God's attention is not distracted away from you. That knowledge of God's undivided attention on us should give us his peace that surpasses understanding and enable us to face obstacles and any difficulties we come across with the assurance of his presence. I hope you feel encouraged by this reflection of God's blessing and peace as you go about your day. And I pray, may the Lord God Almighty bless and keep each and everyone listening to or watching these reflections today. May God cause his face to shine on all of us and help us to know his gracious gifts. And may God lift his countenance unto us and give us his peace. Amen. Naturally, my song for today will be The Blessing by Carrie Job. I hope you enjoy your day. God bless.